What is up guys, my name is Mark Santa Maria. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the non-RC vlog. Today, I'm gonna show you guys my new car. So I'm in a bit of a first world problem car situation. And I'll give you guys a quick story. So obviously, I was gonna get rid of the Mustang. I was gonna trade the Mustang for possibly a new Civic Type R. I ended up not being able to do that only because I didn't want to fill the Asian stereotype. I mean, come on. If you see that thing, it looks like it's straight out of Tokyo Drift. And I just, I couldn't do it. I'm a little, you know, my wife kept giving me a hard time. She's like, you know, eventually you're going to have to grow up. So I ended up not doing that. Um, part of the reason why I wanted Civic Type R is it was a little bit better on gas. Uh, my truck, you know, it had a lot of miles on it and uh, it was burning gas. My Mustang had a crap ton of miles, I mean not a crap ton of miles on it, but it burns a crap ton of gas and I had a lot of equity in it so I thought about trading it in and getting a Civic Type R as my daily. So what had happened was I ended up getting a new car and I'll show you my new car. It's it's nothing super impressive, I mean I really like it but I got basically I got a brand new 2018 Honda Accord. I'll show you guys and do kind of like a review on that. I know I'm not a, a car review guy, but I'll show you guys what that car's all about. It's actually pretty cool. It's a touring model, so it has all the bells and whistles, and it's just amazing to drive to work every day. So it's my commuter car. It gets about 38 miles per gallon, I think, going to work realistically with it not broken in. It's brand new, so I bought it. It had four miles on it. Um, I think I'm getting like 36 miles per gallon, uh, maybe 34. So... I, need to think, I think if I run in eco mode, I could get 38. So my car conundrum is, here's the problem. I'm gonna show you. It's still there, guys. I couldn't get rid of it. I, I couldn't do it, guys. I just couldn't freaking do it. I want it. I know I'm gonna have that itch to go fast. I love the way my Mustang specked out, so I end up keeping my Mustang. I actually ended up trading in my truck at first. When I first uh, started doing the deal, I was going to trade in my truck. And then I really started having seller's remorse and kind of thinking about getting rid of my truck. And I couldn't do it. I couldn't get rid of my truck either. So my truck's over there. My truck is still there. And then you notice my wife also has a new minivan. So my first world problem is now I have to pay insurance on four cars. Um, I have four cars, I only have two drivers in my house. My wife needed, wanted a new van. She was right around that 60,000 mile range. And uh, you know, it started started having not problems, but like little electrical quirks, like the rear view mirrors and things were acting kind of weird. Um, the sensors were acting really weird. And my wife's old van, her Sienna was the top, top, top of the line. It was what they call limited premium Sienna. And it was super freaking expensive. And now, like the medium grade, the medium trim uh, minivans pretty much have all the options that my wife's top of the line minivan had three years ago. So it made sense um, and she wanted a new car. I tried to put her in something cooler, she didn't want it. She wanted a minivan. So yeah, that's my situation now. So whenever you see my Accord in the background, yep, that's my Accord. That's my commuter car. I'm actually gonna be taking it to races a lot. Gets good gas mileage, fun to drive. And I couldn't get rid of my truck because I'll tell you when it really sat in is when I was about to get rid of my truck and my both my boys said, oh, you're getting rid of the truck. And they liked playing in the back of the truck in the yard and they enjoyed all the times that we had in the truck. And my youngest son said, I thought I was going to get the truck. I was hoping you were going to hand it down to me. And at that point, I pretty much just broke down. I was like, all right, I'm keeping the truck. So, yeah, that's my car conundrum. So. Thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna give you guys a review on my car. I mean, it's not gonna be like, I'm not a, again, I'm not a car review vlog, but I'll give you a review on my new car. Um, I freaking love it. It's perfect for commuting to work every day. And it's one of those, I mean, it's a Honda, so it's one of those worry-free cars. And it's, it's, it's actually the first car I personally own, like my wife's cars have always had it, with like air-conditioned seats and heated seats. So those things are really cool. I'm really excited about that. But thanks for watching guys, like, subscribe, Turn on the notification bell and you guys will see me next time. Later guys.